Hello guys and welcome to episode 89 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be taking Genoa and potentially Turin. We will see how many men we have left when we take Genoa and that may be a potential attack we can make. So this is what we're going to do first, get Eugene and smash Genoa. Demand their surrender, they refuse that. Just checking the public order here. Is there a unit I could send back? Maybe some yeomanry? Will they do the job? No. I'll sort that out afterwards. We can probably always send back units from Genoa and Turin once we're done. Let's fight this on the battle map. The army here is actually not very strong at all. It's actually some depleted line infantry. They're not even fully replenished. I am going to have to bring my navy background from the Adriatic to the Mediterranean. Because these guys, after doing this, will need to get to Corsica. We've got plenty of cannons to take down a wall, so let's just get on with that. Like so. All these units can just line up in a straight line behind, and I'll keep my general back here. Okay. That wall is being broken down actually pretty quickly, which is nice to see. We do have more guns in this army than I think any other army, so that does help. What are my horses doing? <laughs> That's really random. Thing is, if the leader of the second army gets killed, I think that's going to affect the morale of all my men. So I really don't want to have those cavalry involved if I can help it. Uh, let's get these limbered back up. And we'll start walking towards the breach. probably only want one set of cannons actually firing at the breach like so the other one can just chill for the time being then what we can do is grab two units like so and two units like so all right let's just speed this up need them to run into position And we will probably get some grenadiers to just stand behind on this side and cover the main gate. The amount of damage we're doing is ridiculous with these canister rounds. Okay. 
Okay, we just about saved our cannons there. That's good. them. <laughs> Those lines of infantry just getting demolished. It never gets old. It really doesn't. It's so damn satisfying. instantly killed. I think it's just one more unit of line infantry there. Well, they are coming out the main gate. But my grenadiers should be able to do quite a bit of damage to them. They're pretty accurate. They reload relatively quickly. Okay, so they take a few casualties there, those grenadiers, but otherwise they did their job completely. Uh, let's use the carcass shot and start firing at these guys. Need to unlimber them first. Be quite the right angle for it. Let's just pick them up again. We'll bring them over here. Uh, meanwhile, I think what I'll do is bring some cannons over here and we'll try and snipe the units in the center. The only unit I really want to kill now is this line infantry anyway. We'll let the carcass do its work and then we will attack this Phylok Arm Sitter in the center. I think I can see why the AI path thing is a bit weird now. Gonna put them onto grenades. <laughs> Maybe they can just throw a bunch of grenades at the uh, the gate. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that did as much damage as I hoped. Hmm, 
Come on, carcass rounds. What are you doing? I have to manually target this. Kind of doing the job. Stop this canister from firing, and I think we're just going to finish the battle now. <laughs> That's weird how they attacked us like that. They just left their cannons and ran towards us as you do hey, What's going on here? Why is that one man stopping us from capturing? Probably be better off just making this unit route That'll do. Maybe a, a little bit long-winded, but only lost 29 men. That's good. Now what we'll do is carry on to Turin. And that will be all of Italy under our command. And we'll have to go and take Corsica. And we will then attack Tunis, which is the now capital, or will be the capital, um, of Savoy after we take Turin from them. All right, let's go. After this battle, we'll spread out our units a bit just to stop any rebellions. And then once we're ready, we can jump them on the ships. No, it's just going to be pretty much the same. There's just going to be a larger amount of units that we're going to have to worry about. Good old Eugene here. What an absolute champion he's been in this campaign so far since we picked it up again. Well, that was some good damage, I think, onto some of these line infantry. Killed 30 men from that regiment. Here come the yeomanry again. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They just kind of randomly march to battle. <laughs> As if they're going to do anything important. Right, let's move these guys up. Like so. Right, and all these can just move like so. I would do two breaches, but I think one's way easier to control. I 
them run into position now. I'm going to have the Grenadiers watch our backs again. Looks like they are coming out, finally. get into my cannons. I didn't notice that. That is my bad. My cannon crew suffered quite a bit from that. Let's get our men back. I don't know how I still managed to fuck it up when I've only got one breach. I think all four cannons are still firing, so that's good. Wait, what are these grenadiers doing? I have no idea. a lot of the firelock arm citizenry here just get slaughtered walking through the 33rd foot. hit. <laughs> Very nice hit. Oh, those carcass shots hit the mark. Decimated that unit. I mean, bear in mind I did let my cannons get charged. This has been a pretty smooth siege. Only one more unit inside that we need to take care of. And then a couple of cavalry. Easy. Get inside and finish them off. No need to delay any further. Oh, we do need to stop the howitzer from firing. Uh, let's have one just get in the building. These guys can line up like so quickly. Uh, these ones can line up like so. And this unit can line up like so.
right, let's just move over here. I'm going to bring these guys out of this building. We'll put them in the command HQ. Wait, is this one man just standing there? I will let him duel. It's funny to watch. Oh, he killed two of my men. Is he going to kill a third? An absolute champion. He's winning all these duels. <laughs> he took it in the face. <laughs> this one guy is an absolute champion. He's already killed three men. Man on man. Okay, now he died. The square formation did the job. Fifty-five seconds left. Cannon crew is being annihilated. I think there's just a couple cannons outside the walls. Yeah, there's some cavalry there as well. But we don't have to fight them. Alright, 93 lost. And that is Turin under our command. Nice. Right, uh, let's grab a couple of these men and send them back to Genoa and Milan. We won't have to send back that many. What's the public order actually at? Minus five. Oh, I might have to send back a few. We could always just turn off the tax. Make ready. But more orders. By the left. I'm gonna send Go one to orders. Milan. That's only on minus one, so we can probably stop that from being a problem. Anything more? Okay. And then it's just Genoa. That's fine. Whatever. As for this navy, it should be fixed up. It is. Let's sail around towards the Mediterranean. What's the fleet like here? We could actually capture a lot of those ships from both Savoy and Genoa, actually. Yeah, these are all Indiamen, so I would actually like to add them to my own fleets. Uh, oh, I can probably send all of these men from Rome, actually, to Genoa. It's not a bad idea, since I no longer need them there. Let's have a look at what buildings we captured. So there is a wine estate, we've got the weaver's cottage. This one's not even built into anything and then we have a vineyard. It's a very poor town. I might just make it a church school because that is currently Catholic. Although I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run, does it? Ah, we'll do it anyway. Right, our agent no longer needs to be here, so I guess we'll have him just wander around to Africa. Right, next up, we need to move out of Venice. Can we move the entire army out of Venice? We can. Let's go smash the army in this port. The quarter resolve. Fix that up. And I guess we'll go grab the Greb. Not very well defended. Ready for battle. Lifting siege. Surrender accepted. Perfect. Don't even have to fight for it. So that's our new defensive line. Not sure what this army is going to do. 
at Graz. And there is potential that they might try and take Venice. If they do, that would be quite frustrating. I'm going to hope they don't. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Right up here, we're still replenishing. That's okay. These guys are replenishing. Let's fix up this building. I don't think that's going to be raided again. And maybe we could actually build something over here now. Both of these are very poor. That spreads Protestantism. So I think we might grab a coaching in just for the happiness and then we'll grab craft workshops there. And this one can be a smith's. And I might even build this one up as well into a weaver's. I really want to attack Warsaw. We're going to need that new army, so let's put them or grab them together. We will have these guys go and execute these men. Although, what I could probably do is have all of the forces come Anything over here. Ready and waiting for orders. More orders. Anything more and then we just ought to resolve this. Any further orders? Wipe them out. Now victory is ours. Defeated. Sir! Troops! At the ready! Sir. Forward! Forward! Lovely. Ah. Oops. Don't know what the hell I clicked there. The I just meant to merge all of these guys. Can we, like, control them, these guys? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just do it manually. And that particular unit will have replenish when we get to the front line. Yes, Meanwhile, I probably want to build some more forces. So I think what we'll do is we'll build up some men at Berlin. Take ready. We've already got a couple cannons. I might grab some more. Then what we'll do is add some more line infantry. We'll grab a couple of horsemen. Maybe a couple of lifeguards would be interesting. How long is it going to take that army to get there? It's going to take a few turns, so yeah, we, we'll have time to build those. Grab a couple of lifeguards. I will need a general, but I guess we can just recruit that from this guy. Awesome. Malcolm Belcher. I don't really want any grenadiers. I don't like grenadiers at all. Two lifeguards should be enough. And then it's just a matter of maxing out on the line infantry, so... We'll just grab as many as we can there. How many slots did we have left in this army? I think that's fine. Uh, let's just upgrade some roads. Do so at France. And that will use up some of our money. We'll finally get round to upgrading the roads. But shakily, I don't want to move this turn, I don't think. We could attack Pittsburgh here, but I'm not sure that's really the right choice. Can I move out of this settlement? We can. All right, let's just jump on the ships. And hopefully we can hit this settlement. We can. 
Let's jump on in. So that's two settlements in the new world easily taken after this battle. And Merryweather can start heading north. This army will swiftly follow if the public order is okay. Yeah, we're nearly completely done with our work in the new world. The British Empire has prevailed. There will be no America. The USA, at least. <laughs> Let's smash this wall. We're back to standard forts, but still, the natives controlling this fort is quite something. I've learnt to use the cannons on the walls as well, once again. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, limber these guys back up. Move all our men towards the walls. Brilliant. So let's have our men just run into position and then we'll just speed things up. Our cannons will get there eventually, I'm sure. Uh, not too happy about that. need to shoot at the men on the ground. Yeah, I'd rather the rangers didn't fire on the at the units on the wall there. Came out the gate. And these guys are going to have to hurry up. We did get a pretty good charge onto the medicine men, so that's okay. But they are still going to do quite a lot of damage to us. I'm just going to blow up this wall. I'm having my rangers move here because they can snipe through the gate better than the line infantry can. Once those medicine men are dealt with, we can just send a unit inside to capture. Okay, 
Okay. That is fine. I think we're more or less done. Yeah, that was a little bit frustrating, but we're okay. We can still carry on. We didn't lose too many men. It's just a matter of the public order, whether or not we move on now. And if the public order is pretty shit, which is not, then we could have sat there and replenished, but yeah, we're going to head back to port. Alright, we'll fix that up. And that should be job done. We need to fix up these ports that we landed in. And both of these are making us an extra 630 and 572 a turn. Very nice. Now let's jump Merriweather onto his ships. Or his ship, I guess. Only one sloop. And he can zoom up to the top here. No more pirates to worry about, so we're free to move as we like. It's beautiful. I might have this sloop go join him. And I'm going to bring down these Indiamen to San Jose. And eventually, I'll build big merchant fleets here that can go down to Brazil. We don't have enough money to do that this turn. Right, let's get rid of that unit. That should still be happy. These cost 229 in upkeep. Uh, I guess we'll disband these guys. They can go home. They've earned it. They've been fighting for a long time. Get rid of those grenadiers. And that'll do for now. At Mexico. Don't think we even need these guys now. And at Santa Fe. We don't need these guys either. So that's cutting down on a lot of these armies in the lists, which makes things a lot easier for me to look at what's going on. I'm going to get rid of these ones as well now. As we are starting to take back control of the water. May as well disband the unit there. But the good thing about doing this is it does give us quite a bit of extra income. Yeah, so next turn we're going to be able to do a lot more. Actually, I know what I need to do with that sloop over here. We need to go pick up our agents. Which have been sat in New York for ages. No wonder New York became such a popular place to be. Because in the past, I sent all of the rakes and gentlemen in the New World there. <laughs> right, let's go through these rakes quick. We also have uh, a bunch of them down at Changing position. this port as well Panama Portobello might just recruit a sloop there to take those we've also got one in the Bahamas <laughs> it's just ridiculous it really is <laughs> it's so ridiculous
Alright, we'll just move on to the next turn. Are we going to get attacked anywhere? I think the main one I'm worried about is Venice. Like whether or not the Maratha Confederacy will attack Venice. I don't care about Poland and Lithuania, they're not going to do anything crazy. Interesting. Well, steam pumped land drainage is complete. And we've completed that local fishery. Path blocked. Focus on strike. Successful mission. Focus on strike in Croatia. Was that Liguria? Okay, they're all good now. I don't care anymore. Recruitment report at Brandenburg. Very good. Right, we have now 20,829. Uh, we're going to let these navies be kicked out by my forces now, because I think my navy is in range to attack them. So, yeah, we're going to, we're probably going to do that. Let's just take the time to replenish these forces while we're sitting here. And I'll have the militia push these guys out. Alright, time to capture ourselves some Indiamen. And unfortunately, guys. It has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we are going to take Edward Hawke and we are going to sink Luigi Scarpa. What a name. Right. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.